Hey y'all, welcome to this week's top 10 here at the CIO PCC, and this one's going to be a weird one. I like weird ones, so most of them are actually kind of weird, but this one's particularly weird. I'm looking at my top 10 favorite cat action figures. I've got a whole lot of them, and these aren't characters, okay? I'm not talking about characters like Stimpy. I am talking about ca uh, cats that are just non-anthropomorphic pets, and they get added in usually as accessories. I'm going to start right over here with one of the most famous, of course. Snowball. Playmates did him. Jack says a new one in their little two and a half inch line. But here we have Snowball up on top of the refrigerator. I added him to the kitchen playset because that seemed to make the most sense to me. But yes, there is Snowball and he's getting my number 10 spot because he's just such an icon of cat characters. Number eight. Number nine, rather. South Park, another cartoon. We're going to walk right over here. And Cartman had a cat whom he named Mr. Kitty. Or more often, just Kitty. Like, as in, Kitty! So there's Cartman's cat in the number nine spot. Now, number eight. We're going to take a little walk back over this way. Oh, Bart down there on the floor. we got to pick him up. Of course, this is Crookshanks. This was Hermione's cat from Harry Potter. Now, this sculpt isn't bad. It could be a little more detailed, but it is a unique style of cat we don't see too often. Um, Star Ace also did the version of the cat that um, McGonagall transforms into. So that's a transform McGonagall. There she is back over there. This is her desk, of course. Uh, but this Crookshanks is going to come in at the number eight spot. You will not see poor McGonagall on here. Number seven is one that you will never think of because nobody else actually has this figure, unless you're a World War II action figure collector specifically, because this is uh, the cat that came with a whack. She's up there on the top, uh, hanging out right now, but her cat, I put him down here so you could see, is in this really unique pose. It's a pretty white cat, Sculpt could be a little more detailed, but what's cool about it is the cat is looking up, getting ready to swat something like it's playing. We don't usually get really unique sculpts where they're either just sitting there or they're in a walking stance, like uh, you just saw with Crookshanks. So, number seven is this one. I believe, I don't think this was 21st century. I think this was, I'll think of it in a minute. While we're talking about number six, this is the smallest in the set. This would be Solomon Kane's cat that he came with from the 112 Collective. There's Solomon Kane right up there. You can see he's got the whole cat head uh, staff. But this is his white cat that uh, Mezco included with him. They did another cat they did for Captain Marvel. I don't like that one quite as much. But again, you get this usual walking pose for the cats. Speaking of Captain Marvel, the Hot Toys version of Captain Marvel gets the number five spot. That would be Goose. It's a nice sculpt, really nice paint job. What makes Goose here a little more unusual too is that unlike most of the cats you've seen so far, he's actually wearing, or is it a she? I don't remember. A uh, collar. Most of the time when you see the sculpts, they don't have collars. Like number four, the beautiful Audrey Hepburn's beautiful cat. I love this paint job. This is a slightly more interesting sitting pose here with Hot Ms. Hepburn. But uh, yeah, this is a nice job. Again, this is Star Race. So this is what, the third you've seen, although I only put two of the Star Race cats on this list. And so Hepburn. Hepburn's cat, who I don't think had a name. This is from uh, Breakfast at Tiffany's. Um, gets the number four slot. The number three is another cartoon character. When DC Direct did their uh, excellent animated Batman series, they did Clarion. Here's Clarion. And they did Clarion's cat. And they did a great job with it. Because it's got all four... Uh, uh, shoulders are articulated, the neck is articulated, and the tail is articulated. So you can actually get some poses out of this guy on your own. He's not in one static pose. And considering how small he is, again, in that neighborhood of 112 size, it's pretty impressive. 
So he gets the number three spot. The number two spot is a more recent release. And it's six scale. Not only did they did a terrific job with the sculpt, but when X06 did spot right here with data, they, they gave him a really cool sculpt, uh, his pose. Really cool. Giving him that sculpted pose where data can be petting him. They actually did a second one too, but this is the one that you can have petted, petting. So number one spot is right next to Jonesy. Talk about a cat that caused trouble. Here's Jonesy. This is the Hot Toys version. This is with the third uh, Ripley that they did right here. Came with the Cat Carrier and Jonesy. Another cool uh, pose. Something a little bit different than usual, just, you know, sitting or uh, walking pose. So there we go. Those are my top 10 cats that are just general everyday pets of some other character that have been made into action figure form. Let me know if you have any favorites. Make sure you subscribe, and then later this week we'll have another video for you. Have a good one.